Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man J. Will. So yes, it is time to give you a first look at the ZTE Blade Z Max. So first off, let me clarify something. I don't believe this is a Z Max Pro replacement. Some of you guys get really technical because it has the Z Max name, uh, but I personally don't feel like this is a replacement for the Z Max Pro. I think it's another device that's in the Blade line. Right? They've got a lot of Blades out there. They got the Blade X Max. They got the Blade Z Max Z8, V8 Pro. They have a bunch of Blades. They have a bunch of them. But this, in all seriousness, is a really good phone. Now, ZTE is known for bringing us pocket-friendly, bang-em-up hardware and, well, software hardware and almost a complete package for a person in a certain price range. This is no exception. This is a very nice phone. So we're gonna start with the hardware of the device. The hardware of this phone, obviously, it has a texture back. You have a fingerprint reader on the back. You have dual cameras, and that is in fact a 16 megapixel camera with a two megapixel secondary and a dual tone LED flash. Now, on the front, you obviously have that six inch display that we all love. You actually get a very nice eight megapixel on the front, which I think is something to be uh, happy about because I think the other model had like a five. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't really keep up with the specs too much, but this is an eight megapixel camera on the front. Uh, you do have type C on the bottom there. You do have a headphone jack. You have a noise cancellation microphone. The hardware on this thing feels really good. The texture back, um, and I must point out that it has a rear mo rear mounted speaker there. Uh, the texture back on here is actually pretty solid. Uh, it makes it to where I don't really need a case. And also this is a pretty big phone. So um, on my Z Max Pro and my Blade X Max, I wore a case only when I went outside, but around with this one, I don't believe that I would even use a case. Uh, it is just a beautiful piece of hardware. So another thing that I think makes this phone stand out is the battery. Now inside of this beast right here, being powered by Snapdragon 435, with two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs onboard storage, is a 4,080 milliamp hour battery. That is impressive. You would not believe how long I went on a single charge. I went almost five days with oh, six hours and 40 some odd minutes of screen on time. This is really good. And the reason I can achieve that type of battery life is because it has that Snapdragon 435 in there and the software on here is somewhat stock. You know, it does have a few things in there uh, that might make it seem like it's not stock. Uh, but for the most part, um, this is pretty much as close as ZTE could get us to a stock device is what they're offering. Now this phone only costs $129 on Metro PCS. So I know that you'll hit the link in the description and grab you one. Um, so how is it that ZTE is able to maintain this level of sales? I think they're number four in the US. Regardless of what you might hear, do the research. I think ZTE is number four in the US or worldwide or something. They're number four. I think that's actually pretty good because a lot of people laugh at ZTE. Sometimes they make, make, make fun of ZTE about certain devices. But the fact is they have some great phones under their belt. I mean, the Axon 7, the Axon Mini, uh, they've got the ZTE Blade, Z Max Pro. They got the X Max. They've got a ton of phones out there that are actually pretty good. And now they've just added the Z Max, the Blade Z Max. This phone actually is really good for media consumption. Don't let the rear mounted finger, uh, rear mounted speaker fool you. It is a rear mounted speaker. It is not the best position, but this phone has Dolby audio. So that is something that helps boost the sound of the speaker and make it really loud. Do I want it to be in another spot? Of course I do. I would have preferred that they put it on the bottom since it's got the Dolby Auto. At least give it out because you're not going to put it on the front. Now, it isn't all roses with this phone here. There are some things that I kind of wish it would have had. Like, I do have 32 gigs on board storage with an SD card. However, I would have liked to have 3 gigs of RAM. That's just something that I personally wanted. The phone still runs very smooth with the stock-like experience. And so I don't think you'll have too many problems with that. Now, I'm not a hardcore gamer on a phone. But for those that might want to do a little bit more intensive gaming, two gigs of RAM might be an issue for you. So I haven't personally done a lot of gaming on this thing, uh, but I'm pretty sure it can do basic gaming or some intensive gaming, depending on how you have your graphics set. Um, another thing is the size of this phone. Now, this is a six inch display on this phone, so they're gonna have to give you a, a big body, or do they? 
Um, they've got a big top and bottom, and the sides are okay, but I was I would think in the future that if they do bring out a pro version of the Blade Z Max, they will actually shrink the phone down a little bit and keep the 6-inch screen. Now, this is a 1080p display. It's not a um, Gorilla Glass 3 on here or 4 or 5. It's actually Dragon Tail or something like that, which is supposed to be really good, but the display itself really pops. So, one area where I need to highlight... Uh, because I'm showing it to you right now, is this rear camera. The front camera takes good photos, but the rear camera, hmm, it's really solid. I think that on all my testing with this phone, uh, it's all about lighting like most phones. Uh, you have to have the right lighting in order to get the good shot. And that's not just what phones that are in this price bracket are, are not really considered high end. It's just a matter of getting the right shot. Because I've got plenty of high end phones, quote unquote high end, I've got plenty of phones out there that cost five times the cost of this or more, and sometimes I can't get the right shot with those. So it's a matter of getting in the right shot, and uh, you can see in the photos and videos that I'm showing you now that they're they're actually this these cameras are actually really good. This phone does have a portrait mode, uh, and it's got some other shooting modes. But I don't know that the average consumer would actually dig into that. But it is there, and it's an option for them. Um, so that's what I think about this phone uh, so far. It's got very long battery life. You're probably still freaking out. Jay, you got four days? Yes, with six hours and like 48 minutes of screen time or something like that, with still about 14 or 15 percent to go. So I didn't do any kind of special tricks, by the way. So it's just a matter of how the phone is optimized and how the user is using it. Now remember, I don't keep a lot of apps on my phone. So if in fact, let's just say the ZTE publicly said this is the predecessor to the ZMAX Pro. I actually think it's a really nice upgrade because when you compare the performance of the Snapdragon 617 to the performance of the 435, real world testing would show that this phone actually, the Snapdragon 435, gives you better battery life and is a little bit smoother. Don't let the lower number trick you into thinking that, okay, it's a bad processor. Now it's no 625 processor, but the Snapdragon 435 and the 425 and the 427 those are all processors that are able to achieve fantastic battery life and with the addition of this 4080 milliamp hour battery zte got it right so again as i would say if in fact this was a replacement for the z max pro i don't think you guys should be that disappointed you're getting dual cameras you're getting 16 megapixel and a two you're getting dual led tone, LED tone flash you get a 4080 milliamp hour better now you get a thinner profile thinner, thinner body it actually looks a heck of a lot better in my opinion even though i like that soft touch back you can't tell me that this isn't beautiful so in all my testing with this phone it's definitely a win-win. $129 on Metro PCS, not a sales pitch. You know me, I only try to get, I, I love big phones like this. And when they bring them in at this, not, they, this is an upgrade, come on. This is an upgrade in hardware, come on. If it is in fact a replacement for the Z Max Pro, this is definitely an upgrade in my opinion. You be the judge when you pick yours up uh, at the link in the description or just head over to MetroPCS.com or head ZTE's website and they will definitely send you on the way to pick up your Blade Z Max. So it's been your man, Jay Will. I enjoyed kicking it with you in this video. Be sure to check out SmartphoneConversations.com for more info. I do have the latest article written on this bad boy. So I hope you go over there and check it out and rock with me on SmartphoneConversations.com. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. J.L. Williams and all social media at Mr. J.L. Williams. This is the Blade Z Max. I'll see you next one. Take care. Yeah.